Log into console. Spark provides various ways of interacting with it. Spark shell is a scalar shell having a Spark object initialized. We simply type Spark dash shell and press enter and wait for it to start. It might throw few errors like port busy. You can safely ignore those. The Spark shell tries to start Spark monitoring interface at port 4040 while initializing Spark. If 4040 is busy, it tries 4041 and so on. Once you see Scala prompt, you can start working with Spark. This prompt will accept any valid Scala code because it is a Scala interactive shell. It has two more variables, SC and SQL context which are your gateway to Spark in 1.x version of Apache Spark. In Spark 2, the two variables with which you can access Spark are SC and Spark. SC means Spark context. Let us read some data from HDFS using where myrdd equals sc.txt file bracket double quote, slash data, slash mr, slash word count, slash input, slash, double quote, bracket. And print the first 10 lines with myrdd.take10. You can see that it has printed 10 lines from the files in HDFS. You can exit the Spark shell or Scala shell by simply pressing Ctrl D or typing exit followed by brackets. There are many engineers who are very proficient at Python and numerous other libraries within Python. So, Spark is made available in Python 2. Similar to Scala, Python 2 has a nice interactive interface. With PySpark, you can launch Python console, which is connected to Spark. After typing PySpark and pressing enter, wait for three greater than signs. That is the PySpark console. Here you can write any valid Python code and interact with the Spark through SC and SQL context in Spark 1 and Spark in Spark 2. Let's read some data from HDFS using myrdd equals sc.txt file bracket double quote slash data slash mr slash word count slash input slash double quote bracket closed and print the first 10 lines with myrdd dot take 10. You can see that it has printed the 10 lines from the file in HDFS. You can exit PySpark by simply pressing Ctrl D or typing exit followed by brackets. Using Spark R, you can use R with Spark. The interactive shells are great for development or analysis of data 
but not good for submitting work in production environment when the job needs to be run unattended it makes sense to use spark submit spark dash submit submits a job whether written in java scala or python let us try to launch an example program provided with spark to compute the value of pi this example basically counts the dots within a square which lie inside the circle and outside the circle and then using this it computes the area of circle and then computes the pi because radius of the circle is known you can take a look at the exact algorithm for the computation of pi using the link shown on the screen let us try to run it type the command spark dash submit space dash dash class space org dot apache dot spark dot examples dot spark pi followed by the location of the example bundle of the code followed by 10 10 is the argument to the program you can see that it has computed the value of pi spark sql provides a sql interface to process data to launch spark on hadoop set the environment variable yarn_conf_dir and hadoop_conf_dir pointing to hadoop configuration directory which is /etc/hadoop/conf in case of cloudx lab since the execution is done by yarn multiple spark versions can exist simultaneously so we have installed other versions of spark 2 at the locations displayed on the screen you can use their absolute path to launch for example to launch the scala spark shell 2.0 version you can use slash user slash spark 2.0.1 slash bin slash spark dash shell similarly you can run other installed commands such as pi spark spark dash sql spark r and spark submit for various other versions we will cover these components in details later